Hey everyone, I wanted to introduce you to Ashley Wilson. She, I, I think is multi-talented, I guess, in uh, real estate space. She's a builder, she's syndicator, and also rehabber and potentially new construction. It's a lot of things. Um, so, but let me introduce, let me allow her to introduce herself and join me trying to explain what all she does. So Ashley, please kind of explain what you do and how you came to do what you're doing now. Thank you so much for having me. I am a full-time real estate investor. I've done everything from house hack, Airbnb, long-term rentals, flipping, and large multifamily. So um, specifically, my focus today is on my flipping business and my multifamily business. So I own and operate currently 600 units. Uh, and uh, that's takes up obviously a majority of my time, but we're looking to acquire a few more properties this year. Got you. So right now you also mentioned you're going to, I don't know if you want to do what I'll let you divulge whatever you want to do, I guess. So with that being said, uh, you know, you're in a lot of things. Who are the people who you like to connect and who you can help uh, these days now? What are you actively looking to connect, I guess? I'm always a people person at, for, at heart. So I'm always looking to connect and I not only connect with the day-to-day -day people on the grounds with changing of communities and building um, really uh, just beacons uh, pro properties within different networks and uh, different markets, but also to reaching out to different passive investors who are looking to diversify their retirement strategy, family offices who are looking for a strong operating company that focuses very heavily on the details of making sure that these assets are performing and um, squeezing out as much juice of the lemon, so to speak, um, to create a win-win. So we're really huge in being multifaceted in what we do. We don't develop just one strategy on the execution, but we look in ways in which we can come about any property and tackle whatever issues that we face from being creative in our, our um, solutions and strategies. So um, it's not trying to force a situation, but to really find creative ways to maximize the investment. Gotcha. So I, you know, you told me something that was pretty, uh, you know, if not interesting, was pretty amazing. So would you like to get into a little bit about, you know, how you do both the asset management and the recent project you completed that you were really proud of, so people can get a glimpse of what you're capable of? I'm a firm believer that any investor that you invest with, any team company you invest with should always have someone on their team that is um, heavily, uh, has a heavy understanding of construction experience. And I personally believe that the best way in which to manage a property is to have someone who both does asset and construction management. I think that there are a lot of operators that go in with a game plan and then the game changes and they still execute their original game plan. And just like we see, you know, at the Super Bowl, because that's something that recently happened, games change and the markets change and the environment and landscape change. So people who purchase properties and had a game plan and then COVID hit and they still continued to execute that game plan. Let's say they were in primary markets and still renovating units while people were flooding primary markets and leaving. Um, that's not dollars well spent. So every single dollar that we spend on CapEx and renovation is all with intention. And we look at things that are so granular that pe people probably haven't considered, but we go down to whether or not it's worth renovating one unit versus another based on the return that you would get for the cost of that renovation coupled with the rent gain you would get on that unit. Most people look at it from a high level view and they look at it across an entire property, but we look at it unit by unit. So everything that we're doing on a property 
we're obviously concerned with safety and liability first and foremost, but then after that, we look at ways in which to add value uh, to the property. And that's not only by ways of increasing rents, it could also be by decreasing expenses. So converting garden areas to seating areas may not be something that someone would initially think would have a lot of value. But if you take into consideration the annual landscape bill to maintain that air, that area coupled with the irrigation, the water bill, and then the ongoing maintenance of that area when you can just remove all of that and provide a seating area and you know gaming area, which would have more benefit to a tenant. A tenant might not pay more, but your expenses have greatly decreased. So those are types of strategies we look at when we look at a property and we do it on a continual basis. Um, so it's not a set it and forget it type of uh, strategy. Awesome. That, 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 there's a lot of info in there. So anybody watching, if you're even a syndicator, you might want to I guess probably talk to Ashley about those strategies because these days my understanding you know it's not the rent you got to minimize the cost and find out ways to get into the renter's pocket beyond the rent so obviously Ashley as she explained digs deep into that so I, I would highly encourage talking to her um, if you're looking for a partner that's valued not only does asset management but looks granularly like that all right, I'll post all our info so if you, you can reach out to her. So, you know, um, and whatever links I have, I'll be posting uh, for her. E either on YouTube or LinkedIn, depends on where you're watching. Now, last two questions, Ashley. What's, what inspires you to get up and do what you do every day? My family. So okay. the number one reason, I'm sure this is the most common answer, but my family is... Um, so important to me. It's the reason why I do everything that I do. I want to be a good role model for my children um, and show the power that, um, I mean, I have two uh, daughters too. So the power that women can have in real estate and um, also uh, the power you can have to change communities, I think is really important. It's not one dimensional again. Um, we're changing people's lives, we're improving communities and um, we're, we're doing it with such good intention and figuring out ways we can partner with businesses and create win-wins so that the business, local businesses prosper as well. It's not um, just all about the, the bottom line on raising rents, which a lot of people deploy that strategy. Um, that's not the strategy we look to deploy. So uh, really being role model for my family, but also to creating financial freedom so I can spend time with my family. Awesome. So, you know, you mentioned you were an entrepreneur or you had the entrepreneurial mindset since you're four years old. So with all that experience, all the things you've gone through, what's the one thing you can share that has helped you either in your personal life or your professional life that can help everybody else or anybody who's listening to it? The one thing I could say that I think has gotten me to the point where I am today is to leave fear at the door. I have always been someone who hasn't been intimidated by any situation. Nothing has really phased me in terms of that's outside of my realm of possibility. Anything I imagine, I know I can do. It's a matter of what steps do I take next to execute on it, but it's not something where I say to myself, I'm not smart enough, I won't work hard enough, I'm not capable. I am all of those things. I am smart enough. I will work hard enough and I am capable. So to me, it's just a matter of, do I want to do uh, what I'm thinking of doing next? And then breaking it down step-by-step step on how do I execute? Anything I don't know, I am a very diligent in finding a person who does know the answer. So I I'm never fearful of it because there's always someone who has done it before me. And for things that I have not done or don't know someone who's done it before me, I just feel like that's not a barrier either. Um, everyone can set new status quos and it, it just takes um, having no fear to, 
to really push the envelope and create new standards. So that's really been a motto that I've lived and executed on since I was very young. And I think that has led to success on many facets in my life. That's, an, that's a great uh, tip because, yeah, fear is the number one thing that stops people, right? So, yeah, that's a great tip. Well, thank you, Ashley, for take, uh, you know, taking the time to you know, share the information and record here. And I'll be posting, like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be, you know, I'll post whatever I have of Ashley over there. And on LinkedIn, I'll be tagging her and her company. So you can reach out to her if something, what she, whatever she says rings with you and you think you can collaborate with her as you can. As she said, she's open to connecting to anybody as long as obviously it makes sense. So reach out to her. Again, thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much.